Welcome to a brand new game, The Fall of Porcupine. I'm very excited. Thank you so much Keymeter for getting me a free key of this. If you want to know more about this, there is a link in the description or if you are on Twitch you can do exclamation mark key and get that. And I'm very excited to jump into this because one of my all time favorite games my headset is like, low battery, please recharge headset. Thank you so much, headset. My all-time favorite games is... Um, there you go. Is Night in the Woods, if anyone knows that one. It's very... It has a very similar art style, I think, to this one. I don't even know if this has any affiliation to Night in the Woods. But... I'm very excited to find out, so... Let's find out together. Oh my gosh. Um, there we go. It's a story set in healthcare and environment, guys. It contains plot points that deal with issues relating to stress, illness, death, and self-doubt, among other things. Please pause the game if you feel unwell. And if you're watching this, make sure you leave the stream or the video, whatever you're watching, and, you know, take some, some time away. Consider contacting family and friends or professionals for support. So this might have some triggering imagery. This might have some triggering, um, uh, what's it called? It has, uh, plot points. So make sure you're in a very healthy environment. Okay. And if at any point you need to step out, make sure you need to, you step out. Um, let's continue. Let's start the game. Oh, this is so cute. What? Oh my god, did you see that porcupine running? Scary sounds. Very scary sounds. Oh gosh, what is that? I hope so too, Buckcatcher. I think we just fell. I don't think that's a. I think that's a pigeon. Thanks so much, Buckcatcher, for the follow. Appreciate it. Um. Oh. I'm walking. I can jump. Oh. Oh? Oh? Am I okay? Hi, Finley. Nice to see you at last. Who's... who's Finley? Why the long face? Oh, no reason I... Really, Kefi? I wasn't expecting to run into my houseplant here. <laughs> I'm Finley! Who were you expecting? Your washing machine, perhaps? By the way, we need to talk about her. The way my pot vibrates when you set her to spin. No, I don't... I don't know. I think I'm looking for something. Oh. What are we looking for? Really? What would that be? Yeah. I have no idea. But it was important. I think I've lost it. Are we dead? It wasn't, if you don't remember what it was, it couldn't have been important. I'm sure it can wait, buddy. Oh, I hate this feeling. As someone who has ADHD, this feeling is very near and dear to me. Also, um, Buckcatcher, thank you so much for the follow. I forgot, but you get a sticker. I'm sure it can wait, buddy. Okay. I think my controller keeps disconnecting. I think this is fine. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Finley's the houseplant's glasses are fire. You think so? Of course. Come on, relax. Just take a look at this meadow. The lush grass, the bright warm sun, this wonderful soothing music. How can you worry when you see that? Yeah, it's good to be out in the sun. I'm not sure I hear any music though. Oh yeah, wait a minute. Can you guys hear the music? Maybe I did make it a bit too quiet now. There we go, better? 
Yeah, I like this. This is a very like chill music. Kula Mundo. <laughs> Sounds like SpongeBob. It does. <laughs> Just let your leaves dangle. Let you leave your worries by the wayside. Yes, yes, I should do that. Just need to relax a little bit. Great, that's what I want to hear. Lost things always turn up eventually. So go find yourself a comfy spot. Make yourself at home. I'm not quite sure. Maybe the plant was keeping it in its pot. That's my best guess. Maybe I don't want to know. I might do that. I'm gonna have a little look around. It's so beautiful here. Yeah, I want to pick out my spot carefully. The choice is all yours. Just relax your frazzled feathers. That's the main thing. Enjoy, Finno. Oh, I gotta, I gotta. Choo-choo. Whee. Oh, there's another. Is that the plant again? Oh, well, hello there, buddy. We meet again. How goes the relaxation? Did you find the person you were looking for? Oh, I don't have a clue. Person? What? Oh, don't mind me. It isn't, isn't it fantastic here? Oh, does the plant know something? Well, having a great time, am I right? So what are you gonna do now? Uh, I don't know just yet. Who's the big guy behind you? What? Oh, him. That's Hugo. We met. To, we went to university together. He's great to climb around on. I used to do that all the time. He won't let me anymore though. Not since I got aphids. Oh no! <laughs> so please take care of this house plan, okay? Want to give it a try? Sure, why not? But I don't think I can get past the giant flower. Hold on, we have that sorted out in no time. See, no problem at all. No problem, the whole ground was shaking. Hugo's quite ticklish. I know, right? The plant is gaslighting me, Historia. You need to be careful when you climb on. And don't break any of his leaves off. He prides himself on the great foliage, you know? Sure. I'm pressing A. I don't know what I need to do. Oh, do I need to like... Oh, is this a... Is this a... Oh, I think I see what I need to do. One. Get up here. Go. Yeah, this is very much like Night in the Woods. The jumping mechanic is very similar. Whoop. Come on, let me go higher. Oh. Hello, Finstar. Up here. Oh, how did you get all the way up there? I'm a plant of many talents. I'm not allowed to climb here anymore, so I had to come up with another solution. What do you want to do? I don't know yet. Maybe I want to dive into the water? Seriously? I thought you were just going to chill. <laughs> Besides, it looks pretty deep. I think it's, yeah. Yeah, the plant just teleported, I think. This flower is giving me more questions than answers. Same. <laughs> Maybe what I'm looking for is down there. I just want to check it out. Well, whatever floats your boat, little fella. I'm more a partial shade kind of guy. <laughs> Besides, I'm prone to overwatering. Chicken. <laughs> oh. I think I fell into the water. Oh. Oh my god! I see the plant again. I swim! I cannot swim very high, apparently. I'm not very buoyant. I can only sort of float across the bottom of it. Hey, Finley. You made it after all. <laughs> if Finley wants to go into the water plant, the plant surely has to have a name, right? That's what oh, hydrate, guys. <laughs> While we're underwater. That's good. That's a good... You know me, I never pass up on a good time. Oh, you don't seem... Oh, you're going to catch a call? Well, you know, maybe don't do this then. 
Know your limits. Then you'll need to take care of me. Go shopping for me. Do my taxes. <laughs> Why does the houseplant need to do taxes? The water is lovely. I don't know what you're going on about. No, I don't I don't like water. So you want me to stop watering you then? That's different. You wouldn't understand. It's a flower thing. <laughs> Actually, maybe we could can we get out of here? Alright, alright. Sure. So cold. Don't be such a baby. Oh my gosh, what is this? Hello? Isn't that the statue from the town square? Are you in charge of the water here? Can you hear me? I'm looking for something. Maybe you've seen it? No response. Well, my bottle bottle seems to have the opposite amount of water than this ocean. I'll be back. I'll rectify that. Yep, yeah, don't fill it with salt water, maybe. No response. How rude. How rude indeed. How rude of this statue to not be responding properly. We're on a beach now. Very sandy. Whee. Ooh, I make footsteps. Look. Hi, Finn, uh, plant. The Finnmeister. <laughs> there you are. What took you so long? You're looking better again. Who can be down when you're down at the beach? That moment when the excess water disappears and you feel the first tickle of photosynthesis kick in? There's nothing like it, man. I just can't get enough. I forget everything around me. Who are you again? Finley, you live with me. Pina gave you to me. You're the f you're the f you're from her flower store. Pina. Finley, Fondly, Dingley, Dongley. It's all the same to me right now. Oh yeah. This place seems kind of familiar. Have you been here before? Maybe, but not like this. You sure do have some strange notions. So, have you found what you're looking for yet? No. But I don't think I'm actually looking for something. I'm looking for someone. Oh, uh, the plant knew that the whole time. Well, congratulations. You found someone. Your very best flower buddy. <laughs> now grab yourself a drink and lie down in the sand. We haven't had a vacation in such a long time. I, I'll be right there. Maybe I'll find who I'm looking for on the beach. All right, but don't get sunburned. After all, I'm not an aloe vera. <laughs> Ooh, can I bounce on that? I want to get on the, the umbrella. Frick. Ooh, a sandcastle. That's a bouncy castle for sure. <gasps> um, I just shot all the way into the heaven. I think I'm in the clouds. This looks... Wait. That was a high jump. I went straight into a different... Wait, these are seeds and this is a plant. Is this another plant? This looks like a screen. What? Ingrid, nice to see you here. Do you happen to know where... Or Mr. Anders is? Are we looking for Mr. Anders then? Mr. Anders, I was looking for Mr. Anders. He pay he's a patient of ours and he disappeared. I was taking the elevator and something went wrong. I have to fight Mr. Anders, otherwise something will happen to him. Sorry, Ingrid. You know how much I enjoy our conversations, but I've got a feeling something's going to happen to Mr. Anders. Oh, am I actually dead? Because something went wrong with the elevator? Or maybe I'm in a coma, but I'm looking for Mr. Anders. This looks like a waiting room. I'm just taking the elevator up again. What is this? Or a crazy bad concussion. Maybe. Mr. Anders has to be here somewhere. Hello, Mr. Anders, can you hear me? Oh, 
I can't go back? Are you kidding me? Oh, frick. I wanted to check out that, that door, but I never got the chance to. Uh, I should check things out while I can. Oh, St. Ursula's tasks. Oh my god, wait. Hey Finley, Dr. Krokowski asked me to send your, your number. Hey Mia, thanks. Here's my number too. Looking forward to working with you. Me too. See you tomorrow. Get well soon, Finley. I just heard what happened. Should I be worried how bad's the injury? Things. Don't worry, I'm fine. I'll just rest up for a few days. There's a lot going on in our ward right now. Anyway, you just get yourself healthy again. Finny, here's my number. If you feel to come to me with any questions. Yes, it was fun. You're a cool guy. Let's go back to Gilbert's next time our roasters line up. Hey, Finny, how's your head? Oh yeah, we did definitely have a bad concussion, apparently. Hey, Carl. Head still throbbing. How's, how's the ward? Saw my armor fork so soon after starting, don't worry, could have happened to anyone. But since you were only trying to help me find Mr. Anders, still feel bad about it. Who's Pina then? Wait, hold on, I wasn't done yet. Pina. Because Pina is someone that we talked- oh yeah, we talked to Pina a lot. Pina here. How's it going? We're keeping you busy. How are things at the store? Yeah, Pete. Yes, right. Thank you, Astoria, for reminding me. The Monstera. Oh, yeah, there we go. Deliciosas are arguing over who, ha who has the prettiest leaves again. Oh, apparently, so houseplants just talk in this universe? Oh, God, mine would be screaming. <laughs> nice again for taking me out today. My hangover was really nasty, but the fresh air did me good. Sure thing. We can do it again when you've got time. I'm always going up to the woods anyway. Plants are my job, you know. Sure, let's do it. Hope things are better with you. What what happened? Box fell on my head. Got a nasty cut. Oh. Now I'm fine. Okay, I'll be driving out of town again in a few minutes. Is it okay if I stop by and bring you something on the way? What is it? A gift? Okay. Oh my god, that's where we got the houseplants from. Regular light, not too much water, and empty the set shit I gave you into the soil three days from now. Crazy. You didn't have any plants until now, by the way. I can't imagine what that's like. Got it. I'll remember. Oh, wait. I'm always pressing the wrong button still. Sorry. Okay, mom. What's, what's mom and me texting about? And this is, feels like snooping, but this is my own text. Hi mom, sorry I was, uh, the move was pretty hectic. Hope you enjoy Porcupine. So Porcupine is a city. We'll come and visit soon. Oh, I love all these hints I'm getting. Please get in touch if you need anything. Thank you mom. Good luck for the first day. I'm nervous. I hope my word's nice. You're going to be a great doctor. Hi sweetie, how it go? Hey hey, it was really cool but exhausting. It feels like snooping, right? They're your texts and we're all here reading them. Well, it's not my text, it's Finley's text. <laughs> you deserve some downtime. Their boxes will be will still be there tomorrow. Good night. Not heard from you in ages. Is everything okay? Um, a lot's going on, sorry. Works harder than expected. Feels like I don't have time for anything else. I am Finley today, apparently. Well, new starts are always tough. I'm sure it'll get better. How are you doing? We're on vacation. Sounds great. Oh, they're on the beach. Uh, definitely fall, but still quite warm. So okay, so fall of porcupine is definitely is definitely a nice double entendre, probably. But it's also fall right now and we're in porcupine. Uh people are Mir Mir and Carl were on my board, they're cool. Um even went into the woods here with a new friend. That was really nice. Hey sweetheart, back home. Yeah, actually taking an unscheduled break right now. Had a little accident on, at work on sick leave for a few days. What's wrong? Do you need me to come over? Oh, that's a sweet mom. No, everything's fine. Just a bump on the head. Nothing serious. Uh, I can't be on the next train. What do you need? Oh, it's fine, mom. But let me know if you need anything. I'll be right there anyway. Okay. And then we have a brother. Oh, and the texts with brother are definitely not as often hey big brother happy birthday how's it going 
Doing fine. Happy birthday, family. Hey, thanks. At a bar celebrating. Lots of people here. Okay, have one for me. Way ahead of you there. Will you be home for dad's birthday this year? No, I can't make it. I'm on vacation. No, no too bad. That seems like a very distant brother uh, relationship. Okay, what's this one? Find Mr. Anders and my notes. Oh my god, I have notes on people. Oh, do you guys have notes on people on your phones? Mia started as an intern on the same day I did. It's her first job too, but I'm impressed how much theoretical knowledge she has. I think I can learn a lot from her. Carl is a nurse on my ward. He approached me on my first day after talking directly to Dr. Krakowski. He has been at St. Ursula's for a long time and knows his stuff very well. I'm very happy to be able to work with him. He's well known and loved most people in Porcupine. He took me to Gilbert's. There I met some people, new people from Porcupine. Your, that's your text with your siblings. Your siblings don't respond to your text? Aw, mean. I'm, most of my texts with my brother for the past couple days have been overwatch question mark and then it's like yeah I can be on in, in an hour that's all our texts currently because we just play overwatch every day <laughs> I met Pina on the way to work she's very nice and has a flower flower shop on porcupine and she's my first real contact here nice oh. what your brother never responded to you saying happy birthday to him Wow, that's so sad. I'm so sorry. Ingrid, today I entered the hospital as a resident for the first time. Ingrid welcomed me and roughly explained everything to me. She's the heart of St. Ursula's. I'm just concerned about her snacking and coughing consumption. And Krokowski is my senior resident. She's had internal medicine one on the third floor. And I'll tell you how it is. I'm a little scared of her. During my first few days, she made a lot of demands on me. I'll try to live up to her standards, but I don't always succeed. Okay, so we we have everything covered in our notes now. Oh my god, there's blood. Is someone there? There's blood here, guys. And folders of old hospital on the old hospital bed. Strange place for an office. The bed almost looks like an actual desk. Maybe I should... Uh, there's someone back there. Mr. Anders, is that you? Uh, I'm scared. Um, there's more blood. There's so much blood. That's blood. It's still fresh. There's so much blood here. Oh my god. <gasps> What? Who? Who are you? Just stay calm. I'm gonna help you. Is anyone there? We need some help here. Hello? <gasps> Is that how I got hit in the head? Uh oh That's my alarm Oh my god <clears throat> Hope you're feeling well again Oh glad that what is this a crime scene glad you're coming back to work today maybe we'll have time to chat then you can finally tell me about what happened. Oh my gosh. I still have a band-aid on my head. Another one of those weird dreams. I feel really groggy. It feels like I haven't slept at all. Maybe I should just give up sleeping altogether. No, sleeping is important. Oof. Okay, nothing else for it. Time to get up. Okay, you got this, buddy. Was that just a dream or was there more about it, you guys? <gasps> There's my houseplant. There you are. Just standing there in your pot as if nothing happened. You've given me quite the restless night. It's all right for you. You don't have to go to work. I find beach sand for your pot tonight. There'll be trouble. Or if I find beach sand in your pot tonight, there'll be trouble. Well, that's funny. 
Look at my desk, I guess. I used to game with my roommate every night when we were at university. For sure, Historia. At least in a recur reoccurring dream, but I feel like there's more to it. She always keep my butt in the one-on-ones Viking battles. I figured I could treat myself to some gaming after work. Fat chance. I haven't touched things since I moved in. <sighs> the adult gamer life. Wanting to play all the games and not having the time to do them. I got a heap of mail when I first moved here. Porcupine isn't big, but it was still kind of nice. A busy timetable, a sightseeing guide, a trial subscription to the daily newspaper maybe i'll become a newspaper reader one day then i can buy a pair of glasses like ingrid's <laughs> is there more here oh it's just oh i'm just outside okay this is definitely very much like uh sup this is this is feels so much like um, night in the woods. The way you can jump on different things. I wonder if you can make it all the way up to um, the top of the houses. Yeah, for sure. Hence the minimum. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Something's up here. Oh, what's this? Some people have a bakery. Within walking distance or a grocery store, I have used closed container. Different, but just as practical. Hmm. I guess. I don't know about that. What's this way? I'm just walking some direction. I just want to see where I'm going. Oh, I can get up the wall. Let's go. That's what I was wanting. Sweet. The little loading screen is cute for sure. Okay. Oh. Oh my god. So I can continue up? It's kind of nice watching the trains chuck off in the distance. Seeing a train always makes me want to go traveling myself. I really need to find out if anyone on... Um, okay, this looks like I can't go this way. If anyone on the team of Night in the Woods was involved with this game. Just the playstyle feels so similar. Man, that stinks. Either there's standing water in there, or that's been there for years, or it's home to an evil clown with terrible halitosis. <laughs> oh! Someone seems to have set up a fishing spot here. There's a note in the camp chair. Dear readers, time and place are two loose threads that don't always come together. Some call it de destiny, I call it chaos. Order, life. And you, seeing this note right now, are part of it. Consider yourself lucky. But please don't sit in my chair. I'll know right away if you, you take my place. Regards, F. Hmm. Looks like this is already reserved. Can I jump into the water? I cannot. There's something blocking me. There's an invisible wall. That makes sure I... Wait, can I, like, go here? I feel like somehow I can make this work. No. This would be cool. Hmm. Maybe one day. Okay. Alright, let's let's go back. Pew. <sighs> let's go the other way and let's explore that way. bike's been there ever since I moved in so either someone moved and forgot it or it's not biking season there if it's still there come winter I'll take it with me and get it fixed up so you're gonna just steal a bike Finley oh there's a male person up here hi morning Finley running late hey Susie yeah I had a restless night crazy dreams oh yeah I know what you mean most nights I don't dream at all, but sometimes I dream that I'm running just on the spot for no reason. That definitely comes from work. Oh god, for sure it does. I heard Louis Colbert's having trouble sleeping too. Someone who lives in a building could just be leaving it in the same spot. That's what I was thinking as well, Historia. He's worried about the store. People just don't buy as much stationery as he used to. 
Okay, please, hands up if you have bought stationery in the past week. Because I love stationery. Like, who else has not bought stationery? Hi, Jay Lopez, welcome in. How are you doing today? Like, you also has, you also buy stationery, right, Kefi? Like, I don't know who's, who, who are they talking about, but I have too many stationery items for my own good. If anything, I buy too much stationery. I have so many cute pens and I have so many notebooks that I don't use. Like, that's why I don't, I don't like, people don't just don't buy as much stationery as they used to. Um, well, I want to meet these people because <laughs> all the people I know, we buy stationery. Less for me to carry, right? Are you doing your rounds already? Come on, you know me better than that. I'm finished already, just wondering what I was gonna have for lunch. I had a bullet journaling. I wish I could get into bullet journaling. Do you have any tips, Kefi? Cause like, I start something and I'm super bad. Stationery, hi foolish sage. So stationery is everything that is you use to write or journal or you know, like stickers are stationary, a laminator is stationary, um, notebooks are stationary, pens are stationary, you know, cute little note cards are stationary, little washi tape is stationary, little letters and postcards, that's stationary, like a whole bunch of things. So many things. I hope you're doing well, Sage. You already have an odd routine. Well, the post won't post itself. True, but I should. Post myself to the hospital that is don't let me stop you oh yeah no it's a definitely a term i also hadn't heard before before i um bought too much of it because i don't even know i think it's in german it's called schreibwaren which literally just means where's to write with so very literal once again <laughs> i'm not good at it i've loved making spreads but can have a hard time keeping up. All right, cool. We're the same then, Kefi. I thought you maybe had it figured out with how to do like bullet journaling, but it seems like it's we're the, the absolute same then. Yeah. So, things to write with or wares to write with. Stationery. I know. That's what happens when you know the town as well as I do. What? What's here? Oh, what's happening? Oh, I just made a note on Susie. That is so creepy. <laughs> Plant based, bright. Does she know how to pet on a journal? Oh my god, Kefi, wait, you're in the Discord, right? Can you put her can you put her in like a channel? I don't know which one. You pick one. Cause I wanna go back to that. Cause maybe I'm gonna go into get into Buna journaling when I'm doing my five weeks, you know? Thank you so much, I appreciate that. Thank you. Susie is the only male carrier and porcupine. She knows everyone, perhaps a little too well. I get the impression that she is a little too nosy for her own good. Oh, Susie would know if I ordered weird things. So there's this website in Germany, it's called ice.de, because that's our like little dot com thing. And it's <laughs> you can get um What's it called? You you can buy oh you you can buy um toys from them, adult toys. And there's the option of sending them under the guise of like coming from like a phone company or something like that, but all the mail carriers know. <laughs> like if they see the name of the phone company, they're like, oh, I see what you ordered. That's definitely not a new phone. So, um, yeah, um, it's kind of fun. <laughs> the mail carriers know. We know at this point too, we once had a thing where we got a package from them and also our neighbor got a package and while the name on the package is different, right, from whose company it's shipped, it has the same shipping address from the person who ships it. So even though while the one said ice on it and the other one said like phone company 24 or something on it, it had the same like return label and we were like, oh, I see what the neighbor has ordered. I see you. 
Like, this isn't really working anymore. <laughs> Alright, unfortunately the citizen's bus is out of service until further notice. We ask for your understanding. Look on the bright side. With fuel prices the way they are, walking's the better option anyway. We hope to see you traveling with us again soon. <sighs> All right, suits me just fine. Why did I buy a monthly pass if the bus only turns up once a month? Oh my god, that is horrible. A monthly pass and then the bus doesn't only, doesn't turn up. Okay, it looks as if something churchy is on the way up. From here, I can get to the old town and down the high street. It's weird what passes for a high street in the small town. I don't notice that Pina store is there, but I should check out this, this street when I'm free sometime. The old town lives up to the name at least. Small crooked, old houses, the town hall, the town fountain, and Gilbert's of course. The best and only pub in Porcupine. And best of all, both routes lead to St. Ursula's Hospital. Which way should we go guys? Should we go up the old town or should we go by Pina store? Which way? Uh, I don't know. I mean, Finley just said that maybe we should only go down High Street to Peanut Store when they are free, but I don't know. Yeah. Okay, well, we're going to High Street. Uh, I mean, Old Town. I counted it. So. That's cute. Ooh, I bet Old Town has statues and it says certain appeal to a pigeon. <laughs> Sage. Oh, thank you so much, Kefi. That's very kind of you. Thank you, thank you. Oh. It's so clear. You can see the glow milk woods from here. I like this morning air in the fall. Too bad I don't have more time. I wouldn't mind grabbing a coffee and eating my breakfast here. The flyers I got when I moved to say moved in say people come to Porcupine for the fresh air, that it can re-energize your body and mind. I don't know if that's true, but apparently Porcupine and the Glow Milk Woods in particular are popular with out-of-town visitors, especially those with asthma or burnout. I have both of these things. Um, so apparently Porcupine is is popular with me. Luckily, I don't have either. Oh my god. Good for you, buddy. At least not yet. <laughs> Good for you, Finley. Good for you. How does that feel, Finley? How does it feel to not have either, Finley? <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Well, we're at a bus stop again. This is a nice car. Oh, hello. Goodness, you're a fast walker. Are you being chased by a rolling boulder? <laughs> Good morning. No, no, I'm just running late. Late for an appointment, is it? You know, the more time passes, the less I believe in the idea. What idea? The idea of being late. <gasps> I love this goat. That goat is the goat. Are you new here? I've never seen you before. Yes, actually, I started at St. Ursula's Hospital a few weeks ago. So you're a doctor? Yes, well, almost. A junior doctor. That's marvelous. People like you are just what Porcupine needs. My name is Adele von Witterstein. Adele von Witterstein? I'm Porcupine's oldest citizen. I've seen many people come and go. So some were in a hurry. Some have stayed to this day. You? I'm guessing you're the hurrying type. Am I right, doctor? Yes, but only because I need to get to work. <laughs> Well, one should never throw rocks into the flushing rapids, but when you have a moment sometime. I know a lot about this town. You can always ask me if you have any questions. Oh, this is fun. I might just take you up on that. Thanks for the offer. I see it as my calling, but for now, full steam ahead. There are younger folk than me to keep alive here. Oh, did I just make a note about um, the goat? Adele. Von Wittestein, graceful, elegant, and eccentric. I want to be like that in my old age. I want to be graceful, elegant, and above all things, eccentric. I met her this morning at the market. She seems to know a lot about Porcupine's history. I've never much cared for history myself, but I'd love to know a bit more about my new hometown. If I find the time, I should talk to her some more. Perfect. Right. Hello. Good morning, Giuliano. No time, no see, Finley. Yeah, I was laid up for in bed for a while. Though as much, the bandhead gives it away. Everything good with you? I'll be alright, yeah. I'm sure you will. You want a cool 
that lumbo in your head with a nice cold drink just to come by any time, okay? Thanks, Giuliano. Giuliano? I might just take you up on that. That's Gilbert's. It's a pretty good place to go. Not that there are many alternatives, really. I'll be back here soon enough. I think we got another note here. I do want to be very diligent with checking everything. Oh. Come on, controller. It's only one porcupine. Weird, I can't scroll up for this one. Seems like it's, it's something's broken. I can scroll on the others, I just cannot scroll- oh there we go. But I can't scroll down. I like good old Giuliano a lot. He owns Gilbert's, the only barn porcupine. I've been there once or twice already and had a reasonable good time. Giuliano once got in an argument with someone called Ralph, but I guess that's to be expected. Can I please read the best? The, uh, the, uh, the rest of it? I can't scroll, guys. I can scroll this, but I cannot scroll his note. That's weird. Alright. Must be a little bit of a bug. I mean, the game just came out, so... Oh, there we go! That's the statue! That's the big town fountain! It's a statue of Ninoslav Honoratos, the founder of Porcupine. What's up, Nino? Why isn't the water running? Probably the bill is too high. Seems to be broken. Or that. Or that. No parking here. Can I go down? No. Okay, so this is to St. Ursula's. Ursus means bear, by the way. I don't know if you guys knew this, so probably that's why that sign was a bear. Oh, is that a coffee trailer? This rusty old truck wasn't here last time I came to work. It's locked too. Suspicious. What are you hiding, rusty old truck? Treasure, perhaps? There's a fly that's in my face this entire time and I can't get rid of it. A dead body? Maybe even ten dead bodies? Is there super secret alien technology inside you? Finney, are you okay? I hear the truth of all things. The answer to the great question of the universe? It's 42. Come on, reveal your secrets. Ah, oh, there's like a bench up there. Okay, I'm gonna go up there. Just didn't know if you could get back down. <laughs> this is pretty. You can see like a different town from here. And then there's some trash in that hill. But that's to be expected, I guess. There's a plague. Plague? Plaque on the tree? This ancient bark has stood here since the foundation out of the town of Porcupine. Ninoslav Honoratius, the founder of Porcupine, planted it himself. He was known to place, misplace lots of things. He reached this place after wandering for how 100 days. He found the town and built himself a house. And on the day he wanted to move in, he lost his keys. 40 days later, he found them and on this very spot. <laughs> what a cute story. <laughs> Sounds like something I would do. <laughs> Same though. <laughs> so here we go. That's why it's Ursula, the bear. This way. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. But yeah, the little loading screen in between is just the cutest. And another bus stop that isn't working. Good morning, Mr. Bus Stop. I'd love to have been hopping off here some time ago. Coffee in hand, nice and relaxed. Well, maybe tomorrow? You can slack off every day, Mr. Bus Stop. St. Ursula Hospital. Ursula Hospital. You squeal, we heal. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh hey! The statues out here every day, from dawn to dusk, come rain or shine. It's never complained. How do you do it? Regular sleep, probably. Balanced meals. Exercise three times a week. <laughs> well, a guy can dream. Choo! Choo! Oh, there's a sprinkler. I got definitely all wet. Let's get back. I enjoy a lot of bath snacks, just nothing with crumbs because I don't like- Same! Same! The hospital isn't huge, still, you can get lost here from time to time. So we literally just started the game 
um, Finley woke up from a weird dream, and at the end of the dream, we were looking for someone called Mr. Anders. A box fell on our head, but Mr. Anders was, was like kind of covered in blood in a blanket and seemed to not know where he was. It was very creepy. And now we're going to work because it's the first day back to work after we've been off sick because a box hit our head. But apparently, we don't really remember exactly what happened. It's not a problem until you accidentally end up on the operating table. That's why you should always pay attention to the science kids. Oh god. Okay. Should we go in? I think to the right there's only parking, but I kind of want to get- I want to snoop around a little bit. Okay. Maybe we should get a car. What's this way? I should really get to work. Okay, well, alright then. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> All right then, Finley. You goody two shoes. Yeah, there's anthropomorphic animals. Let's snoop. I guess we can work and not snoop. Fine, right? That's what I was thinking. Um. Oh, there's a vending machine. The gold old vending machine, a handy source of breakfast or end of shift reward. Of course, it's been broken ever since I started here, but hey, it's important to have constants in life, so I wouldn't say no to a chalk dog right now. Every morning they gleam through the glass laughing at me, just like they've been doing since before I was even born, and still will be long after I'm gone. Finley is a bit of a poet. They'll outlive us all. Thousands of years from now, alien beings will dig up this vending machine. What was this machine's purpose? What primitive civilization created it? That's what they'll ask themselves. Perhaps with their advanced technology, they'll be able to actually get a taste, get at the tasty treats. I agree, Historia, unless they're Twinkies, because Twinkies don't expire. You've got a long way to go, vending machine. One of those rare moments where small change is the most valuable thing in the world. That or crowbar, I guess. <laughs> Maybe we should put a crowbar vending machine next to it. <laughs> what, if, what if that breaks down too? My head's spinning again. Okay, Finley. I also... Oh, oh, I just got into my scrubs. Oh, that's cool. Hello! Morning, kiddo. Sure you're back, huh? Morning, Ingrid. I like Ingrid already. Yes, my injury is healing up nicely now. I heard about your accident, of course. Everyone's heard about it. Everyone wants to know what happened up there on the fifth floor. Yeah, me too. You want to hear my theory? All right, go on. This might sound a bit complicated, but the evidence speaks for itself. Okay, I'm intrigued. I thought it through several times and it all makes sense. Oh, so what do you think? I've only known you for a few weeks now, but it must have been something to do with you specifically. Really? What do you mean? Well... We have a name for that kind of thing here in Porcupine. A sophisticated technical term that aims to define the social and the anthropological characteristics of the phenomenon. What? The term is... Klutz. <sighs> wow, Ingrid! How kind! I was actually on the edge of my seat! Just kidding, kiddo! How's Mr. Anders? The old duffer is still alive. Making himself cozy in his bed on your ward again. Phew, okay, I'm really glad to hear that. All the fancy words to describe it and then just that. I like this kind of humor a lot, so, you know. You go, Ingrid. Well done, well done. We got a little golf clap. Golf clap for Ingrid and her joke. Well done, well done. I like her hair and her makeup. I've only You've only been here a short while, but because of that night, people know know you now you you're the boy who survived very funny <laughs> but seriously people might still have questions for you just so you know better be prepared anyways my coffee's getting cold and you need to swing your butt over to your ward on the third floor in case the dent on your noggin caused more damage than we thought i know where my ward is right like, she has a whole style going on with the hair ray ribbon and the eyeshadow and the little bracelet. She has style. Hop on it before Dr. Krokowski rips your head off. You're right. I'll get going. 
Um, okay, that's a weird thing that Finley does, by the way. Finley takes notes on people. Okay, something is wrong with... So they are entered a hospital as a resident, blah blah blah. Wait, I've... Huh? I've already read this one. This wasn't a new one. You're still here. What's up? Too scared to go up to the ward? Or did you forget the way? Have you seen Dr. Krokowski yet? Yeah, the note was already there. I don't know. There's something weird going on with that. Something weird with the note thingies. She's still mad about your little nighttime hike to the fifth floor. Oh man, don't worry about it, kiddo. These things happen. But your patient's alive and you made it out with just a bump. Be happy. It could have all turned out a lot worse. You're probably right. Believe me, once your bump's gone, you'll forget about the whole thing. Better get a move on now. Dr. Krokowski is waiting. And remember, I'll try. Good, because we ran out of maps for this place three weeks ago. <laughs> Ingrid's funny. I like Ingrid. Use the elevator. Let's walk. Oh my god, let's use the stairs. We're gonna get our steps in. Let's go. Oh, I can actually snoop. Okay, wait. Let me actually go to the third floor, though, before people get worried where, where, where I am. I kind of want to progress the story a little bit because today is only a very short stream in case you forgot. All right, third floor ward. Here I am. Here I go. This is how I roll. This is where I do my doctoring. Oh, okay. These are all the rooms, I assume? <gasps> Lunch break room. Race down the stairs to try to beat me in the elevator to get to whatever floor we had to go. I do that still as a as an adult. And you know what I do? I run down the floor so fast so that I can hit the elevator button. <laughs> so that the elevator will have to stop on the different floors. That's how what I usually try. And then I always win because, well... The elevator won't be fast enough because it stops at all the floors in between. <laughs> That's a trick. If you didn't know, now you know. Your life's different now. Oh, Dr. Krakowski. Ah, Finley. Half an hour early. That's refreshing. I'm half an hour early? I'm already ready? Of course not. You're horrifically late again. <laughs> ah! I'm so like, what? You're also stopping at all the floors in between to do that. It's still faster. It is still faster, Historia. It's still faster. I always won. Let me guess, the bus didn't come? Yes, I'm sorry. I The bus is unreliable. It cannot be trusted. Find a way to get here on time before we cannot... Before we decide we cannot trust you. Got it? Yes, got it. Sorry, Dr. Krakowski. Yes, ma'am. If it's not too much trouble, we'll start our rounds in 301. Hey, can I talk to you? Can I talk to you? No. So here's Miss Martin. Good morning. You're very late today. Ah, Miss Martin, a woman after my own heart. <laughs> the side eye that she was giving me. Right. Exactly, that's what I'm thinking, Isadoria. This side eye that Krakowski was giving me. Oh my gosh. It's in a hurry to get home. That's a good sign. But you still need some rest. Okay, Miss Martin. Came to us yesterday with pain in her upper abdomen. She was also complaining of heartburn, nausea, 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 and loss of appetite. Yes, but the real reason was a sharp pain in the heart. I panicked and called the emergency doctor. I was in so much pain I could hardly move. That was exactly the right thing to do. Anyone have any ideas? Mia. Me? Well, come on, spit it out. Um, yes? Alter? A stomach alter? Is that a question or an answer? My answer. Bingo, that's the reason for this. The reasons for the symptoms is a stomach ulcer. We still have to investigate the cause. So far, there's no indication of gastritis, gastritis 
or anything else along those lines. This is, is this actually medical factual? I want someone from like the medical field play this game and let me know if it is or not. Okay, Miss Martin, we'll probably keep you here one more night. We'll check in your readings again later. Just try to relax. Finley, you'll take care of Miss Martin's medications later. Let's continue to room 303. Chop, chop, look sharp. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'm, I'm coming. Is this Miss Anders, Mr. Anders? I'm gonna go in before all of you. Oh, I can't. I have to wait. Really? Oh no, there's- wait, there's someone like this lying in every room? This is a bit unnerving. Well, Larissa, how are we today? Quite okay, Doc- Doctorski. It's good to hear that. <laughs> You're right ahead and we're forced to wait. I know, right? I want it to be faster. Can you take a few deep breaths in and out for us, like last night? That's right, careful. Sorry, Dr. Krukowski. No problem. That was very, very good. How's it going? Do you want to tell the other doctors why you're here? Yes, I can do that, Miss Dr. K. While I was down at school with the others, we were at the back of the skate park. I can't skate that well. I only just got a skateboard for my birthday. But I definitely want to learn. My board is super cool. It has green wheels and the grip tape is all black and brand new. I've heard of other skaters scratch their boards up on purpose to make it look cooler. I don't get that. My board... <laughs> My board has a pink picture of a robot on the bottom. It's way too cool. I don't want to scratch that up. Yeah, good, but <laughs> what were you all doing down at school? Um, well, um, it was like this. My buddy Christo stole some cigarettes from his stepdad. Oh my god. He said if you want to be a good skater, you gotta smoke too. It's all part of the deal, he said. I really didn't want to, but I didn't want to be a chicken, you know? I was still out of breath from practicing. He lit the cigarette and I took a drag. Super gross. I don't get why grown-ups seem to actually like those things. Anyway, I took a drag. Then all of a sudden I couldn't breathe. I coughed and I coughed, but I couldn't get any air. Then I passed out. Luckily, my friends called an ambulance quickly. So yeah, that's it, really. Thank you, Larissa. You explained it all very well. Well then, care to share your opinions, my valued colleagues? What do you think, Finley? Hmm. I know, Dr. Krukowski already told me. Don't give it away, Larissa. Oh, okay, sorry, Dr. Roski. <laughs> asthma, could have been an asthma attack. Yes, asthma sounds logical. Indeed, logical and correct. What a stroke of luck. I love the kid's excitement, but the skateboard description is not why you're here. Maybe, we don't know. <laughs> Without the help of my, assistant, of my assistant, Larissa, you probably... Assistant, Larissa, you probably wouldn't have... Oh, assistant, Larissa, you probably wouldn't have thought of it. <laughs> Good, Larissa. Keep doing your breathing exercises, but don't overexert yourself. You got it, Dr. Krakowski. Okay, the last do sub for today is room P33. Oh, and Finley, you already know this patient. It's Mr. Willie Anders. I assume the name rings a bell. Mr. Anders, yes. He's a permanent guest on our ward. Mr. Anders is an old timer. Even discounting his recent injuries, his head isn't the best of shape anymore. So act accordingly. <gasps> It's 300 wooden boards, not 200. That's a lot of wooden boards, Jippo, that you can lift with that. Are you able, like, do you use it yourself or is someone else using it? Also, if anyone's confused, Jipoka and I are talking about a machine that can lift boards, like a, like a hydraulic, what is it called? Is it like a, like a, I forgot what it's called. <laughs> I'm once again first, but me. Oh, you were lifting 300. Never mind. I thought we were talking about the machine, how many can lift at once. <laughs> it's a vacuum crane, and you were doing 200 boards a day. Oh my gosh. Everything will be just fine, Mr. Anders. Wait. Who is that guy, and why was he giving us the side eye? Nice to see you. Good morning, Mr. Hydric. To what do we owe the honor? Why, Mr. Anders, of course. I heard he was on the mend. I have to say I'm very relieved. The poor gentleman has been through a lot. 
The incident has been a great concern to us of the past days, as you know. I have a bad feeling about this person. I know that, yes. I've been sweating blood myself. D does this animal sweat blood? There's something about... The whole thing is rather unseemly from an intro- Oh! <gasps> that's- Oh, that's why I don't like him! It's an insurance guy. But I was also very worried about our patient, of course. Mmm, where are you now? And let's not forget our junior doctor here. Up your back on your feet, ready to throw yourself back in the fray? Yes, I'm doing well. Thank you, Mr. Hydric. It's great to have you back. Truly, I admire your dedication. It goes without saying that I don't blame you for the accident. Nobody at St. Ursula's does. St. Ursula's itself is responsible for this accident. As such, you'll be taking personal responsibility for that matter. Sounds like the hospital CEO. They, t they said something about insurance. I don't know. There's something about this the, the eye movement that makes me... Hmm. You know what I mean? It is a manual use crane that takes one board at a time, but instead of me lifting the weight. Oh my, that's so good. Does it, is it fun to use the crane? That's why we've secured him a place in the best rehab clinic in the country. He'll be well looked after around the clock. The rest will also help with his age relationship with dementia. What I'm hearing is they're trying to get rid of him. Speaking of which, I'm glad I bumped into you this morning, Dr. Krakowski. Oh, really? Yes, indeed. Would you go do me a favor and assess Mr. Ender's condition later today? If you can discharge him with a clear conscience, let me know. Something is fishy here. Then I'll arrange the transport right away. Understood. I'll take a look and let you know. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well then, I won't keep you any longer. All of your time is precious. Oh, and if you need extra hands on your team, I'll see what I can do. And healthy infrastructure is essential. But we don't want our staff overworking themselves and calling in sick. I think they're saying one thing. Oh, you can't see what they're saying right now because my camera's in front of it. But they're saying one thing. But their eyes are shifting and it's making me... Good luck. Here's to a successful day. Mmm. Yes, anyway. Good morning, Mr. Anders. It's really fun. That's nice. That would be their primary concern. Yeah, I don't like them. Yeah, we all don't like them. We are very... Mr. Hydric, we are on to you. You know, my daughter looks exactly like you. Yes, yes. Well, isn't, the, isn't she the lucky one? How are you feeling today? I just told you, didn't I? I'm afraid that must have been before I got here, Mr. Anders. Well, what are you doing here then? I'd like to find out how you're doing and take a look at your dressings. When's lunch today? Straight after this. Okay, then go ahead. <laughs> Finley. Mm, yes, Mr. Anders suffers from dementia, but is still relatively fit, as you can see. He injured his legs as a result of the aforementioned incident. He also suffered from a moderate concussion. Would you be so kind as to change Mr. Ender's dressing? It is important to keep the dressings fresh. We can also take a look at the wound. You want me to change his dressing right now? You can ask Mr. Ender if he wants to do it himself if you prefer. He can't be any worse at it than you. <gasps> what? Emotional damage. All right, I'm doing it. Good morning, Mr. Ender. I'm very pleased to see you. Hmm, do I know you? Yes, maybe. There was an accident, do you remember? I want lasagna today, but hold the salad. <laughs> I can't stand all those leaves, Mr. Anders. Finley, what are you doing? Do you want me to bring you some tea and cake? All the stress has been out on Mr. Anders. Am I saying his name wrong? I just wanted to... Okay. Oh my god, your patience is in your hands. Press and hold the buttons shown on your screen to administer treatment. Make sure you only press the buttons shown on the screen. Be as quick as possible and don't release any of the buttons as long as they are displayed. Ah! Wish me luck, guys! I can't do this.
this one. Oh my god. Okay, I did it. It, it was really hard with the buttons. I don't- I sometimes feel like I don't have enough fingers. The dressing may be rather average, but I'm happy with the condition of the wound. I'll be back to you later to check on your readings, but there's a chance we'll be able to discharge you very soon. That would be nice, Mrs. Miss Krakowski. Doctor. No, no, I'm not a doctor. <laughs> I'm just an absent-minded fault fool. <laughs> I like him. Oh dear. Okay, we're done. Mia, Finley, come with me and I'll give you a task for today's shift. Mr. Arndus. It's Arndus, not Anders. Mr. Arndus, I... Gimcrack, gimmickry, and bubbling blubber. I'm sorry? There's this one fly, I swear. Sure you are. Well, time... <laughs> For me to get back to work, my jam won't open itself, and I can't be late tonight. Get well soon, Mr. Arndus. I wish you the best of luck. Okay. I can't jump in the hospital, by the way. I'm trying to press the button, it doesn't work. Oh, now I can. Okay. I wish I could talk to this person. I think they're a nurse. Because they have pink scrubs. Alright, there you are. Back to full health, I trust. Yeah, so good. I'm glad to be back to work again. So you can't jump in patients' rooms. Probably for the best. You know what? Yeah. The walls are crumbling, but they still find money for digitalization. I still don't believe in these electronic patient records, but Hydric and Theobald won't stop singing their praises. We've done a test run and some updates, so all the wards have to use this app now. The data protection benefits are indisputable, but I haven't seen any evidence of it saving us any time yet. Anyway, I just I just opened the patient app on your smartphone. Everything else should be self-explanatory. Okay, first of all, I want to check out the notes, because I feel like I got new notes. There we go. Roman Hydric does... The financial stuff in the hospital. It's not for me at all, but maybe he enjoys it. He asked me about the accident today and seems worried about me and Mr. Arndus. Does he seem worried? Oh. Down on today's schedule. Schedule updated. Ah. All right. The file tells you what to do. Who to treat and what they do. Child's play, really. Any questions? I don't think so. Then you have everything you need. Report back to me when you're completely day with your done with today's task. And make sure you don't collect any more band-aids on your face by the end of your shift. I'll keep an eye on your work and evaluate it. Do try to make an effort. Okay, I have to go to 301, 303 and 304. Let's start with 301 then. In every room that we go in, there's this guy that sleeps here, and it's creeping me out. Hello. Hello. There you are again. Nice to see you again, Miss Martin. I'd rather we make it somewhere, somewhere else next time. Yes, I'd prefer that too. How are you? Oh, you know. I've been a little restless lately. Sometimes I feel like I can't breathe properly. I have a bad stomach pains. You have heartburn? I always have heartburn. <laughs> Had it for years. Yes, the stomach ulcer is no joke. I've been through a lot of stress in the past few months. I've had a lot of arguments with my daughter. And my job's got me pulling my hair out. I'm very just sorry to hear that, Miss Martin. Do you think the ulcer is stress related? No, I don't think so. In fact, you're very unlikely to develop an ulcer just from stress. Really? I thought it could happen. It's true that stress isn't good for the stomach, though, and it can give you heartburn. Can you do anything about it? It's lucky you came to see us so early. That's good. Last night's test show you have a bacterial pathogen in your stomach. That's probably what's causing the ulcer. I'm going to start by prescribing you some medication. Whatever you think will help. All right, let's see then. 
prescribe the right medication, try to get all the patient's readings to their optimum levels using as little medication as possible. Each type of medication affects two different readings. Once you're satisfied with the medication you've so chosen, sign the prescription. Okay. I think I've seen this yesterday on the stream that we rated. So we definitely need to add to... Okay, I think I see some already. We need this one. We need this one. And I think this one. Wait. Oh, you can do... Can you take them off again? Okay, you can. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, with this little... This is actually more... Okay, I'm gonna delete all of them again. Okay. Okay. So this first... What is the... Hmm. Is this... Wait, is this correct? Oh, no, wait, this is correct now. Okay, okay. Okay, I think this, is, this seems good. We only use three medications once. Awesome! We got an A, let's go! Perfect. Well, that should have you feeling better in no time. Someone will come and give you your medication before lunch. Until then, try to get some sleep. Yes, I should rest my eyes. I was up all night with the pain. Aw. Get well soon. See you later. Thank you and good night. Well, all right. I think we got one done. Now, let's go listen to Larissa's heart, I assume, because there's a stethoscope there. In 302. Let's go. See, it's the same person. It's the same bear lying here. Hi, Soph. How are you doing today? It's going really well. This game is really fun. It's, it's, I like the story about it. I like the witty humor and, you know, all the other stuff. It's really fun. How are you doing today? Mm. And I'm spilling my coffee. Also, yeah, thank you, Astoria. This game does have some trigger warnings related to it. Um, we saw it yesterday. We raided into the person um, at the end of stream who was playing this too. So um, this might look a bit familiar to you if you were here with the yesterday's raid. <clears throat> All right, let's take care of this patient, shall we? Hi, Doc. What's your name? Hey, Larissa. I'm Finley. I'll be examining you. It's Friday! It, I love this game so far. It's really fun. I like it a lot. Also, uh, can we do an exclamation mark key? Because I want to make sure that everyone sees the disclosure one more time. Because I think it's important. Thank you so much. Nothing to worry about. Thank you, Astoria. I appreciate you. Okay, whatever you say, doctor. I'd like to listen to your lungs. You mean you want to put that freezing cold thing on my chest? I'm afraid so, but no worry. It's not that cold. I don't know. <laughs> Actually, I guess it's a bit cold most of the time. But I'll only be for a moment. You think you can manage that? Mm, yes, okay. Shall we get started? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, okay. Uh, press the button shown on the screen at the right time. Arrow keys. Hold L when a button appears on the top or button line. I don't know if I understand. Press the button known. The arrow keys. Uh. Oh. Oh. 
Oh god, I'm not doing well. Oh my gosh. I think I understand now. I still got an A. Let's go. Do you have anything fun planned for today? So for Friday? I think I did, yeah. That reader was only cold for a second. What did you hear, Doc? Nothing too bad, Larissa, but there was a faint rattle. A rattle? Like a musical instrument? Yeah, kinda. I used to play one of those things in my school orchestra, but I didn't swallow it, I promise. Actually, I think it's your body that's rattling. Is that bad? Have you heard of asthma? Yeah, I've heard of it. That sounds bad. Can you die from it? Do you think I have asthma? Will I die from it? No. Don't worry. It could be asthma, but we're running some more tests. And if it's asthma, then there's nothing to be afraid of. Promise? I promise. Okay. Try to make yourself as comfortable as possible here. I'll check on you again tomorrow, okay? Sure thing. Let's go. Okay, last patient for the day. Room 304. I don't think we've met 304 yet today in the daily round, have we? Okay, this is a different person sleeping there. It's a brown bear. Hello. Good morning, Miss Helming. Helmick. You've just had thy thyroid surgery, right? It. I know. <laughs> Do you have asthma too, Kefi? Um. I've been having asthma for a couple years now. Allergy related, but yeah, it's rough. I feel you. It can really suck. How are you today? I'm very thirsty. Talking and swallowing are difficult. That's very understandable. Please take it easy then. Okay, make sure you have hydration. Hydrate everyone. Thanks, sis, Uria, for the hydrate. I have child with asthma that was pollution in induced. Oh, that sucks so much, Kefi. I hate that. I'm sorry. Drinking can be a little tricky when you've just had surgery, but once the wound has healed a bit and the swelling has gone down, it'll be fine. You'll be on your feet again in no time. That would be nice. I'd, ra I'd hate to have to spend the last good days of this year stuck in here. We'll make sure it doesn't come to that. I'll chase, change your dressing and take a quick look at the something. I forgot. Press A to continue. Oh, it's this one. Oh, God. This is rough. I don't know how many freaking fingers I'm supposed to have for this task. I got a B. That's fine. I don't have that many fingers. Looking good so far. Everything seems to be all right. Try to talk as little as possible and drink a lot. It's really tough with finger coordination on a control. Okay. Okay. Well, I think I've done all my tasks, which is good, I guess. Also, there's an ad in a second. Only just into the B, though. All right. How many fingers do they think you have, right? <laughs> it's really kind. Of, it's really kind of tough because you keep have to keep holding the buttons. Hey, Doc. I'm done. All done, Doctor Krakowski. Good, good. How was it? Pretty good, I think. All right. Let's see. A and B. <gasps> I got an A overall. Let's go. Everything seems in order here. Perhaps the knock on your head did some good after all. Keep it up, Finley. Okay? I have another task for you. I'm giving you the opportunity to save me some time and get to know the hospital a little better. Sure, what can I do? I need you to go to the lab in the basement. Just keep following the stairs until you get to the bottom. The door is on the right, but you can also take the elevator if you like. I've seen some blood samples of Dr. Halil and I need the results. Can you manage that without injuring yourself again, Finley? As long as the scares don't collapse underneath me, I should be okay. Well, let's all keep our fingers crossed then. <laughs> what a what a joke to come in with. 
Jordan, I get, I assume. Um, and a rectangle. <laughs> oh no. Off you go, I need those results today. Lab basement, Dr. Halo, you got it. Thanks to Zoria for putting the trigger warning in. There's also gonna be an ad in a second. I think we take the stairs again. Um. Miss I already put the trigger warnings in chat, so. Oh, I think this is the basement door. It's a lit. It's, this is a doctor. This is Finley, the main character of the story, and it's really cool. Locked. Hello? See that red light above the door? That what? Oh, uh, yes, I see it. Good, good, excellent. Well then. So I'm here to. You see the red light, don't you? <laughs> God. Yes, yes, I see the red light. A red light usually means something like very busy, prohibited, negative, no access, or simply no. <laughs> but I need the blood results urgently for Dr. Tarkovsky. Dr. Krokovsky, is it? I see. That does alter the parameters somewhat. Do you want to see a magic trick? I love that cafe. Mine is doing the same. We should challenge ourselves to do that in the mental health discord channel that we have. I am not sure. Yes, yes, of course you do. Pay attention. <gasps> Ta-da! Wonderful, isn't it? And I haven't even stood up yet. Can I go in now? What do you think? You see a green light, don't you? <laughs> What? I love this person. Oh my god. This is hilarious. Oh. This is a lab and a half. Oh my god. I love the sassiness. Of course it's a mole. <laughs> Whoa. What are you doing here? Um, I was outside the door. I was just talking to you. Fascinating. And? And what? The light. Was it green? Yes, it was green. Excellent! Look, I need the blood results that Dr. Krakowski asked for you. <laughs> indeed, indeed. So why are we wasting our time chatting? Follow me. I think I have your results around here somewhere. Uh-huh. Slow and steady, my young colleague. I don't want you to end up tripping over your own feet. Oh! This person definitely heard about my accident. We had we got hit with a box in our head at the beginning of the game. Um now, where were you? Ah yes, this is the documents you requested should be just here. You keep your documents in the blood refrigerator? Of course. Saves time when matching time to samples. I think the whole hospital heard about your accident. I think you might be correct in that, Historia. I'm a great believer in shortcuts, you know? The day becomes so much more efficient if one reduces the distance between A and B. My system is simple. It cuts down on sorting and filing work too. And now you can too, you too can benefit from the fruits of my diligence. Well, if that's all. Oh God. What a mishap. That bang made my heart jump. My whole system. I... Let me just put things right in. It'll be alright again in no time. Oh, woe is me. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <clears throat> oh, gosh. Can I help you? What do you mean? You want to help me? That makes me very uncomfortable. <laughs> At least none of the vials broke, as far as I can see now. Oh, that happens. Let's see. Just a minute. Why do the samples have different colored lids? That, my dear doctor, that's my sorting system. It looks complicated. On the contrary, it's easy as pie. Each sample has a sticker on the lid. Each sticker has four different colors on it. Some of the samples fell out due to the accident. Others have gotten turned around, so they're not facing the right way. You need to turn the samples round till all the same colors are facing each other. Oh my god, it's a puzzle. When four samples are positioned correctly, they make a single colored square. Once all the samples are facing the right way, you'll be able to see where the samples that fell out slot in. 
It's quite simple. Okay, you're very smart. All right, let's do this. Okay. <clears throat> the samples got mixed up, but you can fix this. Use LB and RB. Okay. To rotate the flasks, a flask is in a correct position when the colors of all four segments match up with the segments of the adjacent bottles to form a square. Use A and B to move flasks that fell out. Okay, okay, so. Would it be this then? Okay, this looks correct. Let's start with the corners first then. And, okay. <clears throat> Let's start with the corners first, okay. Would this be correct? No. I think this is correct then. I think, yeah, okay. And this needs to be this. Okay. Okay, and I'm sure then this needs to be the yellow up. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I can, can kind of, can kind of, I can kind of see how this is going. This needs to be yellow this way. And then this is blue and this is green. So we need a sample that has red, yellow, blue, and green on it. And it needs to be red, yellow, blue, and green. Yeah, that's it. We're doing it. Let's go. Okay, this isn't actually as hard as I was thinking it would be. Wouldn't this be correct at this point? There we go. I just had to turn it one time. And then this has to be red. Okay. And uh, so we need one that has... Okay, this needs to be it. Perfect. Um, this is pink and this is green. So we need one with pink and green, orange and red. So this is the top one. Perfect. This needs to slot around for blue. And so the last one is this one. Ta-da! This is actually very satisfying. Fantastic, isn't it? My system is infallible. Well, unless it falls down, you know, then it is fallible. Thank you for your efforts. I had better go back to my work. Could I get those results? I'm so sweaty today. Oh no. Go get a shower? A bath? Was there something else, dear doctor? The results for Dr. Krakowski? Oh, right, right, Dr. Krakowski. Why didn't you say? You know, I'm always happy to help, but I only have 24 hours in my day. <clears throat> Here you are, with my flawless system. I always have everything to hand. Enjoy. And please don't forget to close the door behind you. One needs to hear oneself think, don't you know? Okay, I guess I thought I was getting documents and not a literal blood sample, but sure. Oh, now the door is red again. I can't go back. Cool. What's What else is this way? There might be secrets. <gasps> ah, what's this? Is that a goat? And a house. The no smoking sign is is crossed out. I want to go in. The hospital archives. No one knows what treasures they hide. Treasures made out of old moldy paper. If the smell is anything to go by. That and 40 years of stale cigarette smoke. Can I go in? No? Okay. Probably I will be able to go in at some point, I imagine. Oh, where's that Dr. Krokowski graffiti? Was that? I thought it was a goat. You're right, it is. <laughs> You're right, it is. I wonder if someone painted her or if someone else 
if she painted herself. Hospital says no smoking. Someone says yes, smoking. <laughs> Disclaimer, the user does not promote smoking. Hi, Perseus. Welcome in. Welcome in. We're trying out a new game today. Very exciting. It's pretty cool so far. I really like it. Maybe Dr. Krasovsky was quite the rebel in her days. Um, and then probably before anything... Okay, actually, let me go. Let's use the elevator this time. Before anything, maybe... Um, oh, maybe I shouldn't have used the elevator. Because something happened with the elevator. Oh my gosh. Okay, I, sh I probably shouldn't use the elevator anymore. Right? Here are your blood results, Dr. Krakowski. And why did it take so long? Did the bus on the left not turn up? Just writing my fanfics. How is it going with the fanfiction? No, I had to help Dr. Halil sort his samples. You had to help him? Yes, I... Do you see Dr. Halil here tending to the patients on the third floor? Oh my gosh. You don't, because that's not his job. St. Ursula's has a finely tuned, is a finely tuned machine. If one cog fails, <laughs> everything grinds to a halt. Call it a day and take some rest. Maybe you'll find a, feel a bit more up to speed tomorrow. See you tomorrow morning, right on time for the start of the shift. I expect to see the same level of performance in your treatments as you show today. A boy, uh, Eddie Munson. <gasps> Is that is that some stranger um stranger things fanfiction that I spot on the horizon, Perseus? Got it. Have a nice evening, Dr. Krakowski. Have a relaxing evening, Finley. Should I go see if I can talk to Mr. And Anders Andres and Arndus? Spoiler, but also yes. <laughs> I wanna see if I can. I cannot. Can I go to the break room? No. Damn it. <laughs> oh, I want to go to there. No, secret secrets. Okay, I'm not going to take the elevator. I'm kind of scared of the elevator. Should I go to the fifth floor and see what's up there? I kind of want to do that. <gasps> no, I want to go up. I'm off the clock, so I might as well, right? Apparently I can't. I also cannot go into the fourth floor. I'm gonna try every, well, we know the third one already. I'm gonna try every floor. Is there any secrets here? Secrets are good. I like snooping. No, I can't, apparently. Huh. Are there... <laughs> hey, Rue. Are there human organs in here? If so, I hope no one needs them anymore. We had a special refrigerator for organs back at university. Storage was never an issue. You, you just had to watch what you were doing when the summer barbecue came around. Oh my god. I hope not. I hope not. There, there should be in a refrigerator. In a special one. Best keep my hands... Of this dusty old files. Hold on. Is that my name on there? <gasps> no. Finny, pull yourself together. You're seeing things. No, no, no. No, no. Check it out. Oh, my God. Why won't you check? Oh, Finley. Come on. Finley. There was, there was secret secrets. Ew. Yeah. Ew. Rue, I hope you're having a good day. Welcome in. It only is one chapter so far, and the second one is being written. How do you write your fanfiction? Do you like... Do you do the thing where you write out what you're gonna write about? Or do you like... Um... Do you, um... Just write and see where it goes. Thank you, Soria. Thank you. Is my buddy still here? Oh, what's... Where, where is this? Is this a cafeteria? Somehow, I'm not hungry anymore. I'd rather just go to bed as soon as possible. Seeing the cafeteria food, you're somehow not hungry anymore. Interesting. Oh, what's this? This is the janitor's office. I wonder if he's still here. Hello, Mr. Glendower. Are you still there? Hmm. 
Go away, I'm off the clock, damn it. Oh. Okay. Huh. Just finished. Oh my god, it's so dark already. Just finished the script yesterday. Was depressed about it until I read a comedy manga with some idea. That's okay. Let's go, Rue. Take it easy on yourself, all right? Plan it out of my head and then try to follow. Oh, I can't go this way? I can't go this way, you guys. Where am I? <gasps> Hello? There's our specialist. How did it go, specialist? It... It wasn't easy. How about you? What? He's a curious one. Same as always for us. Had a few call-outs. Car accident here. A laceration there. I am so confused. Are those the guys who drive the ambulance? It, I like it a lot. Um, the story is very interesting for sure. I put this up on my YouTube as well for anyone who missed it. Um, oh, you're just putting it, you're planning it out in your head. Oh my gosh, wow, PS Precious, that's pretty cool. Can we? Yeah, yeah, I just went to the right. Speaking of bed, I must go to bed myself. Of course, Kefi, have a wonderful sleep. Can we get some waves and wiggles and chat for Kefi? Bye boy! See you till next time. That kind of thing. That kind of thing. Good night, Zephy. Kefi, sorry. Um, <clears throat> when did you get off work? Oh, we clocked off a while ago. Thanks for all the wiggles for Kefi. We're just going to hang out here for a bit longer. Yeah, just hanging. Ah, I see. I don't think you do. It's not as simple as you think. Maybe I can join in? No. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, Nanny Kathy, welcome in. Good morning. We're playing a very different game today than usually. Thank you for putting the trigger warnings in chat, Historia. Nope. Hmm. Okay, never mind. Maybe next time. Maybe. Have a nice evening and have fun hanging out. So these are the ambulance drivers. Okay, so I, I, I just can't leave this way. I just have to go. I just have to leave through the main entrance. That was the back door. Uh -huh. I like that too, Perseus. It's just a creative flow, you know? I like that. Okay. So... Let's go see what Ingrid is up to. Hi, Ingrid. Another day done. Any trouble getting back into the groove? You were only off sick for a few days, but it's funny how quickly you forget things sometimes. I don't know. Things didn't go too well today. It didn't go too well today. I think I was doing okay. Trouble with Dr. Krakowski? I don't think she likes me. Liking ain't got nothing to do with it, sweetie. Dr. Krakowski doesn't tolerate mistakes. She's a tough cookie, so make an effort, kiddo. Who knows, you might even learn something. Same, Hanzo. It reminds me of Night in the Woods, if you know that game. You know who might learn who else? You know, uh, you might learn something. I'll do my best. Have a nice evening, Ingrid. Yeah, we got an A. That's what I was thinking, Historia. You too. See you tomorrow. Okay, bye. Ooh, this is my outfit again. I can leave. I'm free. Ta-da, ta-da. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see if we can go to the right. Or if Finley's gonna say, oh, I think I wanna go home. We shall see. It's a bit spooky at night. Invisible wall, unfortunate. <gasps> I do outlines as well, Perseus, so I totally get you. Mm, the sprinkler's still on. Maybe someone should take that turn that off. Hey statue. You're still here. Double shift today, I'm guessing. Chin up. And treat yourself to a coffee break every now and then. Do we not have to do night shifts? Good night, St. Ursula. See you tomorrow. I, I guess Finley doesn't have to do night shifts. I'm not even trying. The bus won't come. Will I ever see it again? Probably not. There is no bus in Porcupine. Oh, 
Oh, the old tree again. Oh, there's someone up here. This evening, isn't it lovely? The warm air that still has a little bit of summer left in it. The golden fall sun is slowly going to sleep. How wonderful. Aww. That's sweet. I feel the need to say something profound. Think I'll resist the urge, though. <laughs> but then I do the story anyways. It always changes. I'm like, why? I feel like that's such a... I feel that's so much true. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> Excuse me. The trailer is still here. I should probably leave. Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. Oh, what is this? I got honestly jump scared by that. Oh my god. Whew, okay. Do you think Pina already has her store closed? I think so, right? Can I go through here? No. Hello, old statue. <sighs> As I was thinking, they turn off this the uh, fountain seer when winter starts coming in. I found it better doing an outline after a draft. Oh, why that's interesting. I like that. Hello? What do you want, Pip Squeak? Can't you let me smoke here in peace? I just wanted to say hi. One of the little busy buddies pals. You mean Carl? Yeah, that's the one. He needs to keep away from me. Oh my gosh. All right, no worries, no worries, Hanzo. Thank you for popping in. Bye bye. Did I return as the pigeon is talking to the statue? You, you did, you did, you did, Sage. You did. You really did. Tell him that from me. Okay, can I talk to the goat? Did I stutter? Get lost, I'm not in the mood. Kids these days, I wanna to talk to the goat. Finally, clucking off for the day, huh? <laughs> Thanks for the wiggles for Hanzo. Yes, at long last, you're still here too, I see. Still, please, I'm back here after quite an eventful day. So what now, off to play into the town red? No, not today, I'm too exhausted. Exhausted at your age? You should enjoy yourself while you can. I hate when people say that. Just let me be exhausted. Come on. Believe me, I used to be a le real life wire. Young tearaway. <laughs> I can still cut a rock on the dance floor. Just as long as the music's right. <laughs> then I have the joint shaking. Then I have the joint shaking. Believe you me, I used to be the last one standing every Friday night. I don't doubt it. But I have to pass today. Morning shift, you understand. All right, all right. But let me tell you, if you slept as much as you're at your age, I'd be even older than I am. If I slept as much as your age, I'd be even older than I am now. Sure, okay. I can hear the voices from in Comfort Gilbert's. Giuliano's probably full flow already, handing out drinks left and right and center, but I'm too exhausted. Maybe tomorrow. On. Okay, well, well, I was just trying to do something. Come on, Finley, come on. Right, that's what I was thinking, Sage. I'm like, I don't know if sleeping less is so good for me. Whee! Whee! <laughs> Can I jump up here? I can't, unfortunate. Sure, sure, less sleep equals less less um, anxiety. Aha, uh -huh, of course. Okay, let's go here. You're still here? What do you mean? I've only just started. I lost the bed, so I have to take the night watch. I'm a loser. And so my watch begins. We probably haven't... Gebrüder Biberic Constructions. 
Of course, have a good have a good dinner. Okay, I can't go here. We probably missed this earlier. We probably should have talked to this person earlier because I feel like we're missing something about this. <laughs> yeah, an extra cup of coffee for my anxiety. That sure will do me great. <laughs> I'm sure that'll do wonders for my anxiety. Okay. Whee! Where do I live again? I forgot. I think I live here. Okay, let's go get a little bit more air. Let's see what's down this way. Maybe we find some secret secrets. Secret secrets. Secret secrets. Maybe not though, but it could be. Oh, maybe we can find the person who's fishing here. Huh. I'll be back tomorrow. Until then, just keep breathing, okay? Greetings, F. Huh. Who's F? <laughs> Let's go, Sage. Do it. Okay, I don't think I can go here. There's still construction here. Yeah. I wonder if this is going to clear up at some point and I can go somewhere here. But I doubt it. I doubt it. Alright. Okay. Let's go to sleep. Good night, world. <gasps> Look how cute this is. Oh, go. Odd. Good. More. Ning. I'm alert. I'm up for it. I can do anything. I'm a top of the world. That's what I would say right now if I were kind of a guy who cheers himself into the mirror every morning. Luckily, I'm not that kind of guy. <laughs> and lucky I don't have a mirror. That would be uncomfortable for everyone involved. But at least I got out of bed on time today. Well done. Really? Oh, I should listen to that. That song. That's a huge success by itself if you ask me. Well done. <laughs> and you've I've got rid of that awful band-aid too almost seven years of studying medicine i can finally take a band-aid off without it hurting maybe i do have what it takes <laughs>